Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be implementing fall damage onto our third person character controller. Let's get into it. So today I'm going to be starting out with the same project I used to create my third person character controller mini series in three parts. So this already has a character controller for us to use where we can run around and sort of jump around in the scene. So to implement the fall damage for our character, it's going to be a little bit easier because we have somewhere to start. So make sure um, in your project, your character has a rigid body because that's the component we're going to be interacting with to create the full damage for um, this tutorial. So jumping straight into the code, I'm in my character controller class that we wrote in that previous tutorial series. Um, and what we're going to want to do here is add a new variable uh, that'll be a float. And it's just going to represent the threshold of velocity that the player is going to be needing to move vertically for us to take full damage. So with that done, inside of our update loop, we've got a grounded check that's using a physics check sphere. So what I'm just going to do is create a new Boolean that's localized in that update loop called previous grounded. And that's just going to be, we're going to be setting that one to the current grounded state before we do the grounded check. So after our grounded check has happened, we need a way of finding out whether the player has landed after being airborne. So we can do this by checking if the previous grounded state was false, meaning that the player's in the air, and if our new grounded state is equal to true, meaning the player has landed. So once those two conditions are met, we can assume that the player has landed after flying through the sky, at which point we'll need to check the velocity of the player and hence do damage. So I'm gonna be using a debug log statement to represent the damage um, to the player. So let's just add a debug into there and We'll say do damage is equal to rigid body velocity dot y is less than a negative full threshold velocity, which is just that value we set up so that if the player jumps, he doesn't take damage every time he lands on the ground. So I'm actually just going to set my full threshold velocity to 15 because 5 was too small. And then when we run the game now, we should see that when we jump off the cliff, um, and we land on the ground, we'll see our debug.log statement say that we've taken damage. So we're reaching a high velocity. Yeah, so do damage is equal to true, and that statement's been printed out once. And now every time we jump, we're landing on the ground, and the do damage is false. So the last thing to do here would uh, be to create a visual representation of the damage that we deal. So I'm going to do that with debug log statements as well, but I'm going to be printing out a value relative to how fast the player was moving. So to do this, I'm going to create a new if statement. I'm just going to copy out the other piece of code where we're asking if the rigid body velocity dot y is less than the negative fall threshold. Um, and if that's true, we need to um, take damage. So the damage we take should be relative to the rigid body's velocity. So I'm just going to create a new float to store the damage amount. And that float value should be equivalent to the rigid body velocity dot y plus the um, the full threshold velocity, and then we're going to want to run a math f um, absolute value method around that one, just to make sure that that's a positive number that we're dealing damage. And with that one done, I'll just throw that value into my debug log statement. And now if we go back into Unity, we should see every time that we take damage, the player um, has a different amount of damage based on the velocity that he's traveling when he collides with the ground. So we can see now in the console window that when the player lands, um, we've got different amounts of damage that the player is taking. So that sort of proves that everything's working as intended. Um, and it's a pretty simple system to get the full damage working. Thanks for following along with the video. If you're enjoying the content, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button down below as it lets me know that what I'm putting out is good quality. Thanks for watching and have a great day.